everyone, it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making a quick card with this May May Made It Light and Salt, Salt and Light uh, stamp set. I don't, I don't know which one it is, but it's it's one of those. <coughs> it's part of their religious themed monthly stamp set. Um, it's last month's because this month just was released, I guess. So it's just these. Um, really cool images of light bulbs and a salt shaker and some very cool religious sentiments. The stamp sets are always real fun to um, add to my stamp collection. It's something that I didn't have before. Here the um, filament of the light bulb is separate so you can stamp that separately. I did make two cards so I did stamp that out twice. Um, and I just trimmed everything with my paper trimmer. I cut these down to um, rectangles. Uh, and <laughs> I probably could have used a die, then they would have been more even and perfect, but um, but I didn't. I, I went old school with this stuff and um, chose to cut everything down with my paper trimmer. Here I was trying to measure and see if I got it it's not even close to the same. <laughs> so I cut the other one apart off screen and here I did decide to use a die for the sentiment. Um, these are Nellie's dies. I don't even know if they still are in business. Um, I got them at a like a stamp or I think it was a rubber stamp show um, about seven or eight years ago and they they're really nicely nested circles, so I haven't found the need to to buy any new ones. So here I was pulling out my papers. These were from Bull Bunny. I have two different religious um, paper pads from Bull Bunny. Well, I think I have more, but uh, I have these two in particular, and I really liked them. This one has all these religious words on it. I thought that went really well with the sentiment. It was very similar fonts and the other one here has all of the planets and I thought that went really well with the words of the sentiments um, and I just chose some black to uh, frame my image sentiments with and um, oh I was adding the string and I just used a piece of post-it note there so I didn't get anything all over my mat. I think what I did that I kind of uh, swapped the light bulbs from the different because well, they were kind of matched. And I don't think they ended up matched like size wise. So here I just layered everything. I'm telling you this was a quick two cards. I think the entire making of the cards took me like I don't know 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes. It, it wasn't bad at all. Um, usually cards don't go together that fast for me and I, I liked that these did. I am a really busy mama. I don't always have time to make cards. Uh, and when I do, it's, it's really a blessing to get the few minutes to make something, even if it's just something fast. So I did pop up all of the elements, I guess, of this card. It was going to be a very simple card, so I wanted to make sure that there was some kind of interest. So I added foam tape to the back of my little images, and then to the back of my sentiment circles. And I always add plenty of foam tape. I want to make sure that that isn't going to go anywhere in the mail. And when I cut this pattern in particular, I made sure that that earth was down at the bottom. I figured that needed to be highlighted. And then on the other one, I made sure that the word pray was very predominant when I cut it. Um, <laughs> that's where I kind of realized that maybe I had swapped the um, light bulb images when I adhered them to the black and I trimmed that one off with my scissors. So here is one of those times where using the liquid adhesive on the back of the foam tape comes in really handy. Um, and I used, see that? I pulled that, that one from the other card for spacing before I laid it down and it was still wrong. 
<laughs> but I was able to lift it up because of that liquid adhesive which I highly recommend doing so I did the other one off screen and here I was just folding up my card bases and adhering my card panels and I always seem to have my cuts off just a little bit and that's the easiest way for me to trim up my card bases I find if I put it in my trimmer I don't get it trimmed up nice either so I might as well just use my scissors and then I used this Simon Says Stamp sequin mix to add like this almost clear yellow sequin to the light bulb and a clear sequin to the salt figured that gave a nod to one having a glow and the other one being made of glass and I added a few more sequins making sure I highlighted the things that I had chosen um, my paper for like the one I highlighted the earth or the world by putting sequins around it and the other one um, I made sure that I placed those sequins around the word pray I used my quick sticks and my art glitter glue to adhere my sequins I had that like I have a pick-me-up stick it, it's not always sticky so sometimes I reach for this and this is like a two-handed thing and I don't know there's got to be a better solution somewhere and I don't want to spend the enormous amount of money on you know that high uh, priced one that all the major youtubers have because I really kind of believe that well as fiddly as sequins can be it's not worth it to me to spend 20 or 30 dollars on on a stick to move sequins around I will say I do have a Teflon bone folder I bought it several years ago I paid the high price for it and I have used it so much that it is actually um, kind of damaged it's uh, worn so here's a still shot of card and um, you'll see another video on your screen if you'd like to continue watching thanks for stopping by